Okay, for another edition of Voice of Reason, this is Jake Schwartz here at the Philadelphia Sports Writers Golf Association, the Ballad Golf Club. Yes, this is the same birthplace of Voice of Reason. I'm a Lycano Hospital baby here. It's about five minutes away, and we have a very special guest here. Now, if you're as big a sports fan as I am, you certainly have a good quenching thirst for alcohol. And with us today, we have a gentleman who certainly supplied a thing or two about alcohol. He is the right-hand man to Mr. Dick Yegling himself, Tony Casanelli. How are you, Tony? Good, fine. It's very nice to have you here on Voice of Reason. First off, what another great day it is here today. My third year covering the Philly Sports Writers Golf Association and in benefiting that Adam Talaferro, your thoughts here today. On, on uh, Your thoughts here on today's golf outing. Great outing. You've been playing in it for a lot of years. For the and we always supported the uh, Philadelphia sports writers. We always did, and uh, it's a lot of fun. A, a great bunch of guys, and we're happy to do it. Yeah, yeah it's Sam Carcini, who is the president of the Philly Sports Writers uh, Association. What can you say about people like Sam? Uh, uh, no, Sam. Well, like I say, this is about I guess seven, eight, nine years in a row participate in this, and like I said, we're always one of our big supporters prizes and beer and everything. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about that actually. As mentioned, you were really one of the biggest names to help out with the Yangling beer, which is distributed all over the uh, the world. Uh, let's forget all over the country, but it's all over the world. Talk about that and, and, and what you just, when did you come up with the idea of Yangling? Well, it's been there many, many years. I mean, it's a long story and quite a story. Yeah, we got a couple uh, of... Well, when I went with them, they, they were only in three states, Delaware, Jersey, and Pennsylvania. And today they're in 21 states. It's unbelievable. Far <laughs> west is Indiana, Ohio, Arkansas, Kentucky, and from Maine all the way down to Key West. It's uh, it's the only small brewery, regional brewery that survived of them all against the giants in the industry. Amazing. So when I went with them, the total sales for the year was 79,000 barrels. I didn't know that. And now they sell over 2 million barrels a year. You, yeah. yeah, you really uh, have expanded, like you said, from three states to 21 out of uh, 32 different states. What do you think people are getting uh, when they drink Yangling? Well, in, in the beginning, uh, we got a little fortunate. Uh, we were perceived as a craft beer before all the craft beers came yes. out. And we had that image. Plus a great product. It is. Great product, and it was oh. always priced right. So it's a combination of all those things. And my son is a COO up there at the brewery and I did not know that. 24 years and I got him to come in there and he took it from there and just, just built the brand. Well, a lot of people think that we've got a lot of pioneers here today and we certainly have one here today and we don't want to keep you long because you've certainly got to finish your day here today. Tony Casadelli, the man behind Yangling Brewery, we appreciate you stopping by. Jake okay. Schwartz again here at the Ballot Golf Club for another edition of the Philly Sports Writers Golf Association.